I saw the church robed in glorious splendor. I got up from the pew just in time to pick up the last handful of bobby pins from around the altar. I felt the last wave of the old time Pentecostal fire brush my face as it blew out in the 1980s. I helped the revivalists roll up their tents in a dusty field outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And as ministry mountains crumbled under the weight of scandal, we all checked into the reality of mere humanity in the pulpit. As the swaggerts and the shambocks gave way to the winds of change that turned slatted pews into padded chairs of every color. I heard the truth thunder as it rolled out from the great word of faith preachers, the Hagans and the Copelands and their progeny. And as the truth took root, we swelled, only to find that growth and swelling are two very different things. As the church went from legalism into materialism, we found again ourselves searching the river's banks for a crossing. This opened the door for the prophet to step forward, and like a junkie in search of a new high, we were almost instantly addicted. The masses clamored for a word from God, but simply hearing it would not be enough to satisfy their palate. This word had to be performed before the whole congregation to hear, and this allowed us to place the responsibility of God's will on the accuracy of another. And if there was a prophet, there had to be an apostle. So yes, the entire five-fold ministry was recognized in the church. And for a season, it was enough. But like all the other moves of the Spirit, they're pushed aside for the continuous screams of our flesh. Like a teething baby, humanity cries out in discomfort to the spiritual. And eventually, the church gives in to its demands. So now we've come to the non-sacrifice church, a people that cannot be imposed on to worship and will not be convicted of anything that requires them to offer more to God than they do to themselves. As for the Holy Spirit, we wot not as become of Him. So the flesh demands a molten calf so that we can touch our spirituality with our hands and give evidence of how close we are to God. We hunger for the world's acceptance. We will now do anything to have heads to count, for in the modern church, the number of people has replaced the change in a man's walk as the measuring stick for success. To make the world comfortable in the church, we no longer ask a man to change. We've now changed the church to allow him comfort in his despair. We've dressed down our clothes, turned up our music, and lit up our stage. All this with a little smoke and mirrors. We've created the grand illusion of peace. Some trendy coffee, a low-fat muffin, and a t-shirt are how we now show the world our faith. Gone are the days when a man's faith was measured by how he stood steadfast through the storm. At today's service, we will count you, stamp you, and send you on your way in just 59 minutes so that the next herd of people can come in and get branded as one of ours. But how long can such a church exist? How long will God allow his fields to go fallow? I long for a time when we sought after God in his presence, when we came to the house to offer him our best gifts, when we came to God's table with clean hands, and pure hearts. I have seen the church change in my life, but what I hear now is a death rattle. And if there be no God, then all is lost. But because there is God, Yahweh, we need not dress for death. I saw an old man standing in front of a stoic sanctuary. He was holding a sign. He fashioned out of pieces of a wooden cross that were discarded behind the church. With that alone, he stood ready to take his three nails and secure a placard that said Ichabod over the door. But the spirit stopped him. The spirit said, wait, allow me to call them one more time. 
allow me to bid them to awaken. The Spirit says, let me wake the church out of its slumber. Let me call God's people back to his real presence one more time. The Spirit says, I will light the fire that burns true, and with this alone, I will cause my people to rise again. God help the church.